Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I just wanted to do a little update here on my Bolivian Ram Celestial Pearl Danio tank. I love just looking at this tank. It's, just, it's fun. Cool fish, cool plants. Put a lot of work into this. I know you probably can't really tell, but I have. I really have grown to appreciate these Bolivian rams in all of my various tanks. These are my new, I wouldn't say favorites, but they are definitely one of the more interesting species and the dynamics between these fish they are just they're they're amazing they're such characters i do have a, a pistogrammas as well and another tank but um i haven't had as much time to really observe them i mean they're definitely characters as well but um these guys are just funny they definitely have their territory one has this side of the tank over here and the other supposedly has this side and if you notice there are two caves so there's the other one hidden back there so but the colors are really amazing they're kind of subtle but they're they're just they're beautiful I can't wait to get some uh, the German Rams those ought to be a blast they are even more colorful, but still, I really like these little guys. They're so small, but they're so feisty. And then as you can see, these uh, celestial pearl danios are just, they're absolutely gorgeous fish. And if you know this species well you can differentiate between the male and the female by okay for instance here you have that is a a female for sure right let's see if i can get it here um well these are males here you can see they're more vibrant and they're orange coloring it's a deeper, darker, richer color. The feet and their spots are more um, pronounced. The clarity is, is finer in terms of detail. 
and um, let's see. There's a female right there. Where is she? Uh, there's a lot. There's. Let's see. I can find her. Yeah, there, there she is. See her? How stocky she is and thick. Yeah, her colors are less vibrant. She probably has a bunch of eggs in her. And yeah, her color is just different as well. Like I said, it's not nearly as vibrant. But I love these nano fish. Um, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. In here I count one, two, three, there's a small female right there but you can see by her coloring it's very I want to say mild I really love this uh, Crypt Wendy. It's actually the um, the rust color. So here's a, an example right here. It's going to grow into probably what um, it actually reminds me of cannabis um, and the. Uh, um, I guess I don't know a lot about cannabis, but I think it's called sativa leaves, and they grow really long, similar to this. They're they're more jagged on the edges, but I believe, like in my other tank, these leaves will actually grow like eight inches long from this just this one plant, and I really I like it. Um, there's actually another one here in the back that I planted. It's the exact same plant, but instead of taking it apart, I planted a very dense cluster, and it's actually, it's it's growing out. Um, I'm just gonna have to be careful here with this uh, Rotalia indica, and uh, make sure that this uh, lower lying mid-ground uh, crypt is uh, receiving plenty of light it's always a challenge I personally really enjoy watching this tank and I've made a lot of changes to it um, and um, if you do like it and anybody wants to see more coverage please comment like and or subscribe I definitely appreciate it and um, I'll make more videos um, and uh, if a lot of people like it I'll make the time to make more videos sooner 
I just uh, planted a bunch of dwarf hair grass here all the way across. Some of this dwarf hair grass is actually, believe it or not, about mm, almost six months old. It's just been growing so slowly. It's been in different tanks. It's been transplanted. It's received really good light, but mm, it's it's been a little shaded. And then over here, it's growing a little bit better. Um, I need to do a little bit of research though. Um, this is my real, uh, actually my first successful attempt at getting dwarf hair grass to take off like this. And um, I need to figure out how to trim it so that it, it grows out more. And, uh, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with this Anubius here. I'm not sure. I mean, how can you go wrong with Anubius? I just, I'm not sure what I did. It came from another tank. Um, actually, so did this Cardinalis here. Cardinalis Mini. Um, and this is another Anubius here. But, um, I've got the CO2 turned off. And then, um, I love this plant here in the back. Um, I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it, but I do need to make an effort, a conscious effort to train it so that it grows more straight up. Word. All right, everybody. Well, thanks again for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time. Mr. Oz, signing out.